now we're in Premiere Pro and let's get started. So first you want to cut every single time you want the character to say or subject to say something or do something like here he says something and then he moves. He has to say something move and do something else or he doesn't have to say something but just do something Hello. now i'm gonna cut every single time i want him just to stop so this part where he's moving can't be in the video now that he sits i can cut this Cut after that. Sorry for the laggy playback. It's just my computer or something. Now I just want to do this for the rest of the clip. And now that that is done, you want to move each file over the next one. Like this. And then this. And... You can always add tracks by going at the bottom, add tracks, and then you can select, maybe I want three video and three audio tracks. And then I can do this. You can also use the scroll wheels on the side if you need to get up or down. Now I wanna go in the beginning. You want to go into opacity, select the free draw pen tool, I don't know how to pronounce it, and then you just want to maybe zoom it out a little bit, 25% may be fine, and then, or you can sometimes zoom in if you need to get like a close. For this, you don't need to be very like exact. The mask can go a bit around, and then just go around. And I sometimes accidentally use the scroll wheel to try to go up and down, but it just tiny changes where you are in the timeline. And then just click to fill. That will create a mask around the person you had. And then you can see the next one. I would watch out like here. It's a different color. So maybe try to go like sometimes you need to fix things and that's all right. Now you might want to go in here and fill out the side of the couch or something. Zoom out a little. Now I want it to be like this and click here so the side of the couch is all the same color because I think he pushed the couch on accident sometimes that can create a big issue but sometimes it won't that's awesome when it doesn't. And just like that, you got it. Now here you can see the second character. Now you want to select the second file and do the exact same thing to him. Now we're gonna time lapse when I'm doing this. So enjoy. That was a sweet and short time lapse, but now you can see I have to fix this because of the shadow he's emitting and the pillow is a bit different in the next clip. So I actually want to remove this mask 
here you can press select the mask on the left press delete and I want to make a, another one that's more exact on the side the new person goes so you can make a curve by holding down and just adding curvature by bending it and over here I want it to be more exact because of the shadow sensor. This effect is kind of like not nice sometimes because it's hard to get shadows. But if you could get someone to stand there to make a shadow, that would be awesome. And now that is done. It looks quite odd uh, around here, but if you select the next clip, uh, yeah, you might want to fix that as best as you can. And I'm gonna leave it for this, like this, for the tutorial, just to keep it short and sweet. Now you just want to repeat that with every single like subject, like, but watch out here, he is. You can see there's a shadow on the floor, so you must mask that out. But just keep on doing that with the rest of the characters. I'm gonna turn this into a time lapse. So, yeah. So if I just mask around here, his shadow doesn't come to his head, so that should fix that. And let's keep on with the time lapse. So if you can see the next guy's head under the table, so the mask before him overlaps his head, because I had to go there for, for the shadow. You can always go click on the other file, go to effect controls. Select the mask and adjust it for his head position. And voila, that's the mask fixed. Now that this is done, I want to drag this line up because I want them to say hello at the exact same time. So if I can move all of them a little bit ahead. I can see this one needs to sync the line ups. So if you drag this, you can see the lines and just move them until they match. A trick I sometimes use is I cut right before he starts talking. And then if I drag this, the cut will sync up. It's a nice trick that comes in handy sometimes. I also use this when I'm editing the tutorial, if I need to seek up something. And now they should all be in sync, but the first one starts. They're all in sync, but I got the, to make the ends also ends and starts in sync. So I find where the first clip ends, I cut all of the ends from them and remove them. And where the this last clip starts, cut all the parts before that and remove them. Now, if I move it back, you have this. Hello. You want to make sure the mask is correct before you start cu cutting them. 
I know this one's mask is off, so you can go and rough tune that. But that's it with the tutorial. Enjoy this, and I will see you again in the next week. And also, if you need to buy, if you want to buy anything we used in making this tutorial, go ahead in the description and we have links to everything. And if you want to suggest an effect, we also have our email down in the description.